Hello, I'm Joan Stoffer with Iridex Corporation here at the American Academy of Ophthalmology. We're hosting our annual three-day speakers program where physicians from around the globe come to present on their Micropulse experience. I'm here with Dr. Semensky, clinical assistant professor and director of a glaucoma at the University at Buffalo, who just presented on the Cyclo-G6 laser and Micropulse P3 Pro. Dr. Semensky, thank you for being thank here. Thank you for having me. So how does Micropulse transpleural cyclophotocoagulation differ than traditional continuous wave transpleural cyclophotocoagulation? Well, as I was saying in my talk just now, we think of micro or regular uh, continuous wave cyclophotocoagulation as something that we do in refractory end-stage glaucoma. It's a lot of tissue destruction, there's a lot of potential cystoid macular edema, uh, vision loss, but micropulse is different because the continuous wave pulse is actually chopped and the whole pulse is actually administered into short bursts instead of one continuous burst. So there's less uh, thermal damage of the tissue, less tissue destruction, and subsequently less inflammation with the patients and less uh, incidence of CME and vision loss. During your presentation today, you shared results of a six-month study on patients treated with the Cyclo G6. Can you summarize your study and results? Yes, yeah, so I had a, a conglomeration of different patients. I had patients who were surgery naive. I had patients who had had a tube or a trab. Some had had uh, multiple surgeries. Um, but I looked at almost 40 patients, 38 patients, out for six months. And I've had great results, 31% um, uh, pressure lowering and 1.1 uh, medication drop. Um, so it was uh, very good, especially considering we had no vision loss, um, no serious adverse events. I had no hypotony, I had no horrible CME. It was actually um, really good results for our, our experience. And where does the Cyclo G6 fit within your armamentarium of treatment options to manage your patients with glaucoma? So initially I was sort of using it traditionally as somebody something for a refractory glaucoma in patients who've had multiple surgeries, using it sort of as a last resort. But as I saw my results and I saw how comfortable patients were, I saw how little inflammation they have, I started expanding it a little bit. So now I really think of it as something that can be used even in uh, glaucoma where patients haven't had much surgery at all. I have a lot of patients who have had bad results or bad experience from surgery in one eye, for example, a bad outcome with a trab or a tube, but they need pressure lowering, and this is something I can offer to them. A micropulse is something that can control the pressure, and of course, if it doesn't work, we can do more, we can put in that second tube, but a lot of patients go that route of doing laser instead of incisional surgery, and they are ultimately very comfortable, very happy afterwards. Well, thank you for your time. Thank I appreciate you, so you being much. here.